are going to be learn how to implement the globalization and localization into your ASP.NET Core application. So let's start. A multi-language website allows the site to be accessed via wider range with different language and the culture preferences. So by default in .NET Core application provide us a service and a middleware for localization so that we can access the various culture and language into our web app. By default it is not own in the .NET Core application we have to we tell the application or basically turn on that i localization service into our application. Before implementing that let's try to understand what is globalization. Globalization is the process of designing application that can handle different culture by adding support for input display and output in specific language related to the specific geographical area globalization make it easier for people around the world to use your web app and what is localization localization is the process of translating your content to a specific language or culture that user requests from your website this will include your transcript your text numbers, dates and formats that you are displaying into your web app, also the different currency cultures, symbols that you have implemented into your web app throughout. Okay, So let's get started. First you need a VZ Studio so that you can create your web app. So I am using VS 2022 for creating it. Click on create new project. Then you have to choose a template ASP.NET core web app MVC so you can simply type it here ASP.NET core web app then it will pull out all the template related to it you have to be choose this one ASP.NET core web app MVC controller so that we can take the benefit of the MVC pattern click next here you will give your name of the solution I am using localization and then you have to be mention your directory I am putting the solution into the same directory click next then you have to choose your framework I am using .NET 7.0 that is the latest one and click uncheck this HTTPS checkbox and for the authentication type choose none you can implement any of them if you want for, but for this demo I am not implementing it so let's click the create so this will give us a nice little application and if we go through with the folder structure here you have the WW root folder where your all these static files remains like the CSS, JS and the libraries and then you have the controller then you have the model where your all your model reside then you have the view so basically MVC is model views and controller then you have the app setting.json file where your all your configuration resides and finally your program.cs file where we have configured our all your services and inject whatever we need throughout our application okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to be create our own custom language services that will be shared across your application so create new folder named as services under this services folder what we need is we need one class named as language service language service so save our time I have a code snippet ready with me so let's quickly take that and paste it here in this what I am doing is I am creating one service named as language service as I already told in this I am injecting the iString localizer that is from Microsoft dot if you go to its reference you will see it is coming from the Microsoft dot extension dot localization library basically okay so it is an inbuilt service that we are going to be used then I am going to be tell what kind of resources I am going to be accessed from this so what I have to do is here the main thing is you need to be giving a folder in which or folder starting name for your resource file that you are going to be consumed so please pay attention here that when you are going to be create your which is the next step create your resource files okay so after creating this I have one little method by which I am getting to be access this key that is the get key here I am passing my key that I will define into my resource files and then I am returning its value after reading it 
so the next step is you have to be configure this service into your program.cs file you have to be tell your application that this service I want to be consumed and shared throughout my application so for that what we need to be we need to be inject it so let's take a code snippet from here here you go in this what we are doing if we scroll up you will see here I have my application builder created and then I will start injecting my localization but this is the step one here what you need to be do first of all you have to be register your service into the skeleton pattern here I am registering my service so that it can be accessed throughout my application okay you can also define its scope if you want to be load it from some custom module and after that I am telling my application I want to be add localization and what is the path of it under the resources folder that is the next step that we are going to create the resource file and then we are adding our MVC pattern and I want to be use my localization view and over there if you have a custom class data annotation then you have to be define it over here also like the let's say you have a like property display name and that you want to be access it from your localization file so you have to be define its property over here so that a view can access that after that you need to be define your cultures that you want to be going to be used into your application for this demo I am using two cultures that is the French one and the US English version okay so I here I have registered my request localization what are the supported culture you will add as many as you can and then I am telling my default culture supported culture and the UI culture over there and here is one more thing when you are providing your request providers for the localization there are three kind of option over there data annotation that we over use and then you have to be tell your application which culture provider you want to be used either it is a query string parameter a cookie parameter provider basically that will provide you a localization and after that what you have to do is this is the normal controller view you are telling your application and when your application is builder build after that second step is here you have to be tell the request localization from where it has to be up opt your required service so we are getting a request localization option that we have defined just above that in the step one okay and then we are good to go this is the only change that we have to be do in the program.cs file okay next step is create your resource files so under that what you need to be do is create one folder named as resources and now what you have to do is you have to be add a new item that is resource so keep attention here you have to use the same name shared resources and then dot then en dash us that is the first culture that I want to use and after that this is the same folder name file name shared resource okay I have used shared resources so just update it it should be the same name that you have mentioned in your factory over here and then secondly another culture that we have using into our demo is if you go above that fr dash fr that is the French culture one okay so again new item it should be the resource file so shared resource dot fr dash fr so this is your second resource file okay so if you carefully watch the attention here the resource file that we are naming convention that we are using the name that you have provided over here dot your culture that you want to use dot rscx the extension of the resource file so simply open it let's create one key over here that is the key that we are going to be use let's see for this demo I am using this 
so this is the English version so let's say welcome in English nothing fancy so I copy the same key for the French one so over there welcome in French okay you can add as many as key that you want to be handle in the localization part okay so this is the part where we have create our resource files okay so next thing is we have to be implement one method into your controller by which we can change our localization or basically change our language so quickly take that part also so simple method in this what we are going is we are pass our going to be culture and then in the cookie response we are going to be add that culture by default with the default culture cookie name and then finally I am adding its expiration time to one year and then I am redirecting from where it has been the call is went through okay so next start is from where we will call this so go to your views folder under the layout section after this ul where it's going to be completed then I will add mine new drop down so you will see after this navbar I have one drop down which is named as localization in this localization what I am doing is I am adding two links for calling that change language method into your home controller that we just defined and here I have give my languages name English and French nothing fancy simple straightforward here is your controller name okay so the next step is the final step where we are going to be consume these services so if you are going to be consume it on your controller side so exactly what you need let's try it over here so what you need is I'm going to be use a view back for accessing it over here so you will see what we are using is we are using a localization services that we have to be defined over here so simple private property language service okay so same we need to be tell your application we are expecting this so here we are going to be assign it boom okay so here what we are using is we are calling its get key method that we have defined and pass the key and here you will get the value of it simply dot value so here you can see in the welcome dot message we will just test it in a moment you will get your localization key in this view wag and same what if if you want to be used that into your views so we have to be inject that one way is you will inject those language services independent over here inject and then language service same you need to be add a namespace for it okay so here you can see the best way is you need to be inject this into the view imports so that you don't need to be add it at every view simply inject it over here and then you will define your look inject your localization service into this so simply over here I am defining a localization a same key that we have defined over here you can give any name if you want simply go to the view imports define it over here now we are good okay so simply we are able to use this key into your view if I simply replace this dot at the rate so here we have that method get key so we will pass that key inside it and the key name is str welcome okay so now the final part we are going to be test our application so let's run it
so let's see so here is your application the first message is welcome in English so if you simply add a breakpoint here in your controller in the index method I reload the page again you will see your welcome message value is welcome in English and your requested culture is ENUS by default okay so now we have a drop down over here which says French or English so I am changing its culture to French if we just add a breakpoint over here French you will see your culture is getting changed with this to this cookie name basically the ASP.NET code culture that is the default cookie stored in the browser so we just change it it comes again to the index method from where it is being called now you will see the your welcome message is welcome in French so here the localization happened now if we see the culture you will see it is changed to French now so now I changed it you will see your welcome message is translated in French now so this is how simply we can implement the localization into the .NET Core 7.0 using its built-in services and create your shared or common file for localization that is being accessed in all your application or web apps. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Please support the channel. Please subscribe it. Thank you.